What's up guys, welcome to the Pat Cave. My name's Pat Clark, and obviously I'm into superheroes. So the Pat Cave is a superhero talk show where I interview guests, either people I know, friends, families, or people in the industry about superhero culture, how, what they like about it, and uh, how they became such a fan. So before we go any further, I need to get into uniform. All right, um, Blue Lantern, huge fan of the Lantern Corps. Uh, you'll probably see me in an outfit like this, maybe every other video. <laughs> Much better. All right, so this is unboxing number one. So I bought a couple comics, and I know what they are. And I don't know, should I tell you what they are? Let me open it first, then we'll talk about it. How about that? All right. A lot of you guys might be wondering what this is if you haven't. I just noticed my face probably looks dumb opening this package. Like, I'm a superhero. I should be like, gotta be gentle. A little box inside a box. Love that. Love that. All right, excellent. So yeah, Blue Lantern stands for hope. I wasn't really into the Green Lantern Corps until I learned about like all the other colors. Dude, the world is just it's so extensive. I just love learning about it. I, I would say if any Star Wars nerds out there, Lantern Corps is the closest thing you're gonna get in the DC universe. Just saying. This is not what I ordered. Okay. We've got Thor, the War of Realms. So wow, this really was a surprise. But hey, this is my first time buying comics online, so might have been my fault. <laughs> I haven't seen this, it's a 9.8 CGC Universal Grade, War of Realms number one, Marvel Comics 6.9. So interesting. I'm gonna look this one up and then we'll talk about it more at the end. I don't know, this is just so strange right now. Is that it? Okay. 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 This, ooh, this is like a, that was like a mystery box. All right, um, let's, let's hope this is the one I bought. <laughs> um, here we go. Oh, I just botched it. Yes. The Man Called Nova. First appearance in Nova, 9.2 condition. Yes. In phase four of Marvel Cinematic Universe, I do believe that Nova's gonna play a huge part. So, I bought this as not only an investment, but also just, I think it's, it's kind of like fun uh, gambling on these superheroes, kind of like people do with sports cards and uh, other mediums. Oh. Okay, so this one I did order. I actually was gonna get two of these. Uh, the other one was an 8.5 rating. The grading system matters a lot. It determines how well in condition it stayed in, and there's different grading companies too. I'm betting on Nova. He's gonna be, I think, the Iron Man of Space in phase four. Gorgeous art. So if you're not familiar with Nova, his name is Richard Ryder, or that's his alias. He is part of the Nova Corps, which is, if you've seen Captain Marvel in the latest uh, MCU movies, they mention them a couple of times. But I know he showed up in TV shows that I watch, like The Ultimate Spider-Man, and that's about it. He is part of the Nova Corps, which is kind of like Marvel Comics Lantern Corps-ish. They're kind of like police officers that uh, help protect the universe. 9.2, The Man Called Nova, issue number one, first appearance. Wow, wow, nice, fantastic. 
So that does it. That concludes our first unboxing and my first video on this channel. Like I said before, I'll be doing uh, talk shows with friends, family, people in the industry about what got them into comics and what you know, kept their passion alive for it. So uh, in between those, you know, a little bit longer scripted videos that take a little more time to edit, I'll be doing unboxings and behind the scenes of how I'm making it all happen. So, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the journey and um, peace out. Hope burns bright. Pew.